listen to different radio stations daily. However, we were not satisfied until one day when my husband stumbled upon Hope FM. He then invited me to listen to the many inspiring programs. From then on, we listened to Hope FM every day. Hope FM changed my life. Husband and wife, Bagaram and Clara, discovered Hope FM while searching for radio stations in Papua New Guinea that would fulfill Bagaram's appetite for music and information. Madam Samra Tok Tok today, the Bible and me contain him. Tok Tok, when we come to heaven, the Bible man on ground. Madam Samra Tok Tok today, we talk to me that God is the best plan for us. Bagaram was attracted to the sound of the new FM station and found himself listening to it more and more. He didn't realize it would change the course of his life. I came across Hope FM when I was searching for a radio station. I realized that Hope FM was new and different to me. I invited my wife to listen to the new radio station I had found. The radio station is unique and already impacting my life. My wife joined me in listening to the radio since last October. I didn't attend any church at that time. After listening to the radio station, I decided to attend church for the first time. My family began to notice changes happening in my life. My children were also happy about the changes. Conflicts between my children and I ended I am convinced about my choice to worship on Sabbath. My choice is a blessing to my family. It wasn't long before Bhagaram invited Jesus into his heart and decided to become a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. He's not only become a disciple, but a disciple-maker as well, inviting his family to follow his newfound faith. It was Hope FM that convinced me. It brought light into my life. I was truly convicted by the truth. I then shared my newfound truth with my family. The experience was awesome and exciting. Bagaram can't read, so Clara reads the Bible to him. They follow Bible lessons from the radio. Their faith grows each day as they spend this time studying together. I listen to Hope FM every day. I'm thankful to Hope FM, which brought change into my life. We praise God for media ministry reaching far and wide. These programs reach listeners in the mountains, across the valleys, and along the coastlines of Papua New Guinea, transforming lives. This quarter, a portion of the 13th Sabbath offering will go to reach more people like Bagaram and Clara through Hope FM Radio and Hope Channel Television. Please give to this special opportunity to spread the message of hope. Thank you for supporting the 13th Sabbath offering.